Hey everybody, Asher here, and it is time to revisit some early access, specifically with War Tales. This is a game that's been in development for a while, was released out into the wild late last year. It's really good, I'm just going to tell you that up front, but I did want to give it some time in the oven just to see where the developers would go polishing, fixing balances and everything. And what we're going to be doing today is kind of just subjecting ourselves to a new game and go a little bit further than what we did previously. So the way that you do this, it's going to be kind of familiar to you if you played Mountain Band or a little bit like Star Sector, but you have some of these different options that you have. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I want to play this, but we have Apprentice Friends looking for an adventure. Um, so you have more influence, which is important for getting things. Uh, negative experience, which is a little bit annoying. You start with an archer, a ranger, a brute, and a swordsman. Men escorting merchants who have lost their employer, which means you start with more money, but one less uh, medicine. Money, that's a, that's a decent way to kickstart your game. Deserters fleeing from an abusive captain, which means that we have more experience but we also start with suspicion which is the game's equivalent of everybody's trying to look out for you and the laws looking out for you young farmers looking for a better life which means we have more bread and less money and we start with two spearmen i honestly really like spearmen in this game uh we may we may actually go with that start even though it means that i start kind of broke uh bandits looking to escape the guard which means we have super high suspicion um but super high money you know what though um like I've worked with each of these starts, and just what it boils down to is, I like the Spear Bros, so that's what we're going to start with. It's a good, if you've played Battle Brothers before, War Tales is very similar in that there's a world that you explore, and there's 2D strategic combat, and spears, as you may know in Battle Brothers, are really good. Kind of the same here. Your companions are used to long walks, which means that they have better speed and less fatigue over it. Experience gained in combat increases there because they're good at cunning fighters. Uh, your companions show incredible resilience, so they're, they have more life, are excellent at slap games, which means we get 10% uh, experience, and uh, enjoy being one with nature and increases happiness by two when they rest in the forest. I'm going to do used to long walks. Uh, we're, we're old farmers, but we do have a flaw, somewhat meek in appearance, which means that we have a little less carrying capacity, eternal dissatisfaction, an uncommon bout of bad luck, um, a very hard time getting up, and incredibly limited knowledge. I think of all of these, I would rather take the happiness penalty. So we'll do eternal dissatisfaction and see if maybe we can feel a little bit later uh, later on. Now, we do have starting regions. There are other ones that are available. But honestly, I've only played the sort of the beginning of the game here. So this is going to be a series that's a little bit more about me diving in, me learning. I could be really like exciting and go into the hard mode here but i'm gonna set with normal right now we're gonna play iron man just so you all don't question here i don't think there's gonna be any stability issues anymore but once we start we can't stop we have um, free exploration instead of region locked roam the world with complete freedom enemies will adapt to your strength or region lock each region of the world has a set difficulty you'll have to expand and improve your troop before you can explore more dangerous areas. I kind of like the dynamic idea idea better. So we're going to hit the start button. We're just going to call this uh, this save. It doesn't really matter what we call it because we're iron manning it anyway. And here is our troop composition. Once again, my water cup is fantastically in the way of the screen, so I can't necessarily look at it here. Obviously, we have two farmers. When we say spearmen, they start with pitch. With they start with pitchforks. Very familiar here. Now there are some uh, names that obviously, if you've played Star Sector before, you are familiar with. Hopefully, some of the crewmate, crewmates, crew names, crew members, or anything like that for what we have. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and name some people here from a list of people who have suggested doing things here before. So let's go ahead and just. Uh, we're going to make Rikatos. We're going to change you to rock, for rock Forehead. I can't talk. So there we go. Obviously, I could go around and change the appearance, but we're going to keep things kind of default. Most importantly, Impale, uh, if it is used from a distance, does a lot more damage. So these guys are really good for uh, pushing back things and doing some nice speary combos. Let's see here. We also have another spear person here with a similar style haircut here. This will be Akra Tropper or Troper. And it's the zero is supposed to be big, but it starts as a tiny. Fortunately, it lets me go into there pretty well. Um, 
And then I just got to double check and make sure of I, I don't get the name wrong. So we'll just alt tab um, this real quick. Do do do. I'm very sorry. I should have had this all set up right a right ahead of time here. So my screen flickers a little bit when I do this. It shouldn't show up on the video. I apologize if it does. But we're gonna um, have a bunch of bros here. You can have male or female characters. So if you want your gender change, just let me know. But this is going to be Matt Parker, who's gonna run around and beat things with a stick. Hopefully, I mean you you literally start with the stick, so. That's fun. And then over here, our uh, bow person, um, Tony Leapart. Now, I do want to just go ahead and um, apologize to all of you who may or may not. I I'm choosing people who have commented quite a bit. And if there's other people that are interested in being in this series, by all means, tell me. Put it in the comments here. Somebody wants to be the pony? <laughs> be the pony, I guess. Because um, you can you can name your pony as well. Right now, the name is Pony. We're going we're gonna to keep it as Pony here. Thought about naming it myself, but I don't want to take that joy from somebody else. So look at these four. They are probably all going to die. So let's just take a moment around the fire right now. These are some farmers that walked off the farm, and now they're going to begin their grand adventure. Now, if you are familiar with War Tales... Um, this, we are starting on the static default starting location, which means we're going to be up on top of a hill. There's a few shinies. We're going to get into combat right away. So the way this works is that we're going to have a lot of uh, different little things. Oh, I can't talk. Going on. So at the beginning, ah, the fresh scent of the morning breeze filled with delicate tang of nearby stables. A good old-fashioned tavern brawl where the furnishings make for perfect weapons. Born and raised in the countryside, your companions know the value of the simpler things in life. But to make it in this world, one must take risks and go far afield in search of fame and fortune. Just be careful not to lose what you value most along the way. That is to say, your shoes. You definitely don't want to lose your shoes. But anyway, here we are. We'll do the pause menu right away because we have some banditry right over here. This is War Tales. This is the beginning of the game. This is the map. We are in uh, Tiltron County. Um, we do have some little story progression that we'll be able to get into. I won't spoil any of it right now. There are different locations to get, locations discovered, lots of little world quests here. Um, there are shinies on the map. I, there's probably a way to get me to actually display what's here on the map. But see, it's really cool the way you walk around the world. You have your little travel cart here. You guys really want to attack us? That's not very nice. It's a hoodlum and a poacher. We cannot talk. Diplomacy is not an option. That's a that's another game that came out recently. So we're just gonna fight. It's the it's the tutorial here. When your turn comes, you can attack in the round, and you can find out what the enemy is going to go win by paying attention down here. So there are some nice things that I like about War Tales versus um, other things like Urtuk or Battle Brothers, which are the games that are probably two most similar to. One of them is just kind of your dynamic start. You can really pick and choose how you want how you want things to work. If there is a downer, it's that um, sometimes things get hard to see with the way the graphics are. But pretty much now that we're here, we know this person's going to go first. This person's going to go later. So we are going to try to go ahead and have Rock Forehead give this bandit a poke. Now we could go all the way up here to shove in but if we go right here and we do the impale damage is doubled if used from a distance so you see right there three to four damage but over here it's six to eight so that's um that's fairly exciting so let's uh stabby stab into that armor and they have a little warning sign up above them it means they are not engaged right now um but we are going to go ahead and take matt over here Let's run Matt. There's probably hotkeys for all this. I never I never took the time to figure it out. But now Matt is going to drop the hammer down here. Hammers do extra damage um, if somebody has armor. So technically I should have done this first. But it is possible when you stab somebody to shove them out of being engaged. And we want to be engaged here because you get an attack of opportunity if this guy tries to attack while uh, tries to run away. But that's not going to happen. The hoodlum is just going to stab and do five poison damage. So that's a, that's a lot of fun. We have this poacher over here with the bow. I'm pretty sure none of us can reach him right now. So somebody's just gonna have to take an arrow at this point. Let's go stabby stab, just like that. Hoodlum, got a, arrow, got a stab to the face. And there's the end of the turn. 
And then unlike uh, XCOM, we can just run and shoot. We can move around and shoot. As long as we don't have anybody in the way, there shouldn't be a problem. We have an achievement for please observe social distancing. I'm not exactly sure what that entails other than the fact that somebody's about to get shot. That's a really strong arrow to push you all the way back. But now that we're here, you'll notice that it's not a set person. It automatically selects somebody. But we can really pick anyone to do this. So let's go ahead and stab the archer. That was a really good stab, it turns out. A verifiable stab party, as it were. Now, granted, you cannot actually make it into attacking range, so that's a little bit of a problem. And you're taking some poison damage, so I really, I definitely should have bandaged you. And unfortunately, because we're here, your bow range is 9, so that archer's just all the way in, like, the sticks. So it looks like we can't we can't actually run in the right place. Maybe if we go up here, running takes a um, valor point. I'm not exactly sure if I want to use a valor point just to engage here, but we can try. Let's see if we can knock you into here. So stabby stab, and you're not engaged because this wasn't the person that was attacking. That's good science to know, and so you're just going to run, and who are you going to shoot? Oh no, Rock Forehead got hit with an arrow. Alright, so a new round is starting, that's all very exciting. Uh, Tony, I wouldn't mind Archer getting a kill here, but let's see if we can... Okay, so that's a murder-death kill. And that's how fighting goes. We could get two corpses, but we're not going to. We're going to get some cloth, some experience, and some influence. And we have a little bit of happiness. Um, so see, this is where, especially for the difficulty we're playing, the happiness isn't necessarily an issue. But if we repair all, we have some metal scraps, which is exciting. Um, do you want to drop the items? No, I want to loot all the items. There we go. And then we have Rock Forehead, who has gained our first level despite not getting two kills. So if you've played any kind of Dungeons & Dragons style stat game, this is all going to look very familiar to you. Plus two movement is not exactly what I want here. I would much rather have the strength, but I'm going to do the movement because it's plus two and it's just level one. And sometimes getting that positioning is very important. The other thing with leveling here is that we get different specializations, which let us pick certain thing. Every time this unit kills an enemy, you gain one of those valor points. Every time this unit ends its turn next to an enemy and not engage in combat, you gain one point. That's kind of an anti-synergy to spear people, at least as we have right now. Every time this unit ends next to an ally and is not engaged in combat, you gain one point. I think both of those are pretty reliable. We can pretty reliably trigger both of these. So let's try this one. We'll get Valorous Victory for um, some other thing, for another unit as well. But here we go. Continue, and we get the Iron Ore. Hooray! Actually, very important. And we miss the other shiny over here. We can rotate the map like this. It's a little, it's a little laggy still. Um, we got some other stuff. You can see there is our happy little... Um, display bar. Now we got a lot of stuff that we can do. We're going to drop by the stables, but it's not necessarily the first place. We're going to like really do a lot of business because the stables is going to give us a quest. And that quest, this is one of the things that I was really impressed with with the War Tales demo, is that the world feels alive because you have all these places you can go to. No, you can't wander around and like look at stuff or like wander around and like dig into everything. But like you click on a pony this creature seems to beg for you to take it with you. Well, that makes me sad. I, I want you to take it with you, with you, but let's talk to these people and see. Uh, though the war in Endoran has been a boom for my business, I cannot help but feel poor for the horses. I can tell you aren't soldiers. Take them with you if you can. Otherwise, they would most likely end up dead on the battlefield through no fault of their own. Why well, now I really want to take one. Oh, my God. Uh, when I think of how many people don't shoe their horses, it makes me want to pull out what little hair I have left. Please fucking tell me we shoot our horse. Pony. Does our pony not have shoes? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Movement speed in the world increased by five. I'm not going to spend 50 crowns on it. That's literally all of my money for shoes for my horses. So one of the, th one of the things that we have. 
Tell you what, buy a horse for me and I'll throw in some horseshoes for free. So if we buy a horse, we can get one of these. Once again, if we talk to the pony, um, it costs 180 to adopt. So that's goals for later. But like we have a barrel here. There are goods here, like a mosquito proboscis. That's um, that's exciting. Leather, we don't really want that too much. We're not going to steal these things yet. Now, I'm not going to sit here and play goody two-shoes in this game. I have tried to be, like, super good in the past, and all that does is burn me, and, like, I can't keep up. So it's going to be kind of opportunistic to a point where um, we, do, we do some good sometimes. We do some uh, not as good other times. And see, that's where the game drops you off. It's trying to point you in this direction because there's a town in that direction. But we're going to go in the other direction first because I, I liked how one video I saw about War Tales when uh, I was trying to refresh my memory on it, put it, is that sometimes exploration games really reward you when you go the way they don't expect you to go at the very beginning of the game. So here we go. There is this. That's wood. Is that another group of uh, meanies here? It looks like it. Hey, guys. Where are refugees? We'll toss, we'll toss them ourselves. We'll toss them all out. Yeah, I've been drinking. We all have. How do you know? You seers or something? No, nah, never mind. Leave us be. We've got refugees to clear out. So we can attack them. We can give them alcohol, which we don't have, or we can just leave. These guys look like real winners. But they've got, like, all this armor and shit. So I'm just going to walk away. And uh, we have no business with them just yet. As opposed to this salt mine, which is a place I definitely want to explore early. Stop right there. Salt mine belongs to our lady ship, uh, Gontran. I can't let you by. So we could pay 60 to get in. We could threaten or we could use some of our influence to persuade him to let us in. Now, threatening seems very fun. And puts our wanted status from zero to a lot. Let's try persuading here because it's only 15. And um, although we're going to need this to recruit some other people, um, we can get that a little bit later. So use 15. As you wish. We can't man the salt because there are two iron veins anyway. I don't really understand why you weren't so keen to go in there. So suddenly there's iron and suddenly I need to um, pick my people here. Let's see here. You look like you could be a good miner. If we just look over here, iron ore, new profession miner, this is how we do it. Um, miners, as far as I know, actually are going to give you some bonuses to constitution, so that's good. Um, critical hit from Tinkerer. We do definitely want a Tinkerer at some point. So, Ochre, congratulations. We're going to mine. Now, this is little quick time event mini games so if you're expecting that in your battle brothers then place your cursor in the mining circle and overlap the green and the gray should be easy but i am also terrible at these kind of timing exercises i always think back to like that gamer like sort of calibration thing and my reaction time is just absolutely awful but we got some iron here we can get some salt here we are going to in fact steal that salt Profession, thief. Obviously, if we do Tony as a thief, that's going to be an increase in dexterity. It's just natural. I mean, look at Tony. The, the sort of beard goatee gives it away. So we exhale, we steal. This is why we didn't intimidate before. So now our suspicion is up to 40. We got a high roll on it. But we have some salt. We're going to need to like make it so that that... Other people will somehow be able to tell that that's stolen goods. Um, we are not currently wanted by the guard, so we'll have to watch it just a little bit. Um, there should be one more iron ore right here. I think we can rotate. We can rotate in here. I shouldn't be narrating out loud when we're this far away. So, Okay, so our novice miner. Here we go. Confirm. Welcome to the salt mines. Remember the first time I was playing this, I had no idea what was going on. And so I was like, oh my god, I have to actually do things. Those, those sound effects are actually really, really low. Let's go the... I didn't mean to outright leave. Let's go to the settings menu. I was not expecting the sounds to be so low. Um, let me turn up the global volume a little bit. It's just that the title screen is really loud. So there we go. Um, now that we're here, our, uh, 
Our troop is a little bit like flummoxed worsened here. But we do have some iron now, so that's very exciting. Let's uh let's head back this way, shall we? Everything is fine, nothing's not on fire. We have these people wandering around looking for refugees. The refugees are actually a very important part of the story to this area. There's a war, and as tends to happen with war in a game like War Tales, you have um, people that just want to live that don't actually like get a chance. So we do have two things up here. We're going to go to this foreboding looking tower first. And we have Dracht. Oh, Dracht. So miscarriage of justice, I demand trial by combat. We can't recruit him because we don't have the cash to do it. You are a warrior with an axe and a shield. So that's fun. Um, then we have Manalt here. I don't want to die here. Well, we can't recruit you either. You're a swordsman with a two-handed sword. That's actually really nice. Um, I'm not exactly sure. The cleave skill, all units in an area. Okay, so it is an AoE attack. AoE attacks can be very useful and or very dangerous. But here's our here's our other thing here is that we... Okay, Bardus. Pay for my freedom and I will be yours. So here's another spear person. We already have two of you, so enjoy rotting in jail. Um, that's not a very nice way to do it. Then here's the jail keeper. Uh, the lady, uh, Macera, says, offered a reward for any outlaw captured in the region. You should give bounty hunting a try. I think we will. So we have a little bit of money. We have a little bit of rope. She's not going to take those goods. Um, honestly, we should probably cook the salt or something at some point. Um, we do have some comfrey. We do have some iron that we'll be able to turn to other stuff. Um, I don't think we can successfully steal from her. So that's going to be an issue. Barber kit we don't need. A recipe for ether. That's actually pretty nice. So let's go ahead and... Um, if we buy a set of chains, I don't want to buy, like, all the chains. But let's Okay, we're going to buy two chains. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to buy two sets of rope. And suddenly, we are broke farmers. And see, selling this, we our suspicion's gone down a little bit already. Um... We'll see what we can we'll see what we can do with that in a little bit. But now we're gonna be able when we get some uh, people that are almost about to die, we can turn them back into here for money. So it's twenty four per person unless I really fail. And then turning in prisoners gets rid of our suspicion. So that's even better. Obviously, the peacekeepers you'd never you'd never suspect them. But if we go over here real quick, there should be one more thing that we can do right now. I don't know if we can like totally do it on the water. There's a shoal of fish. And we have an angler as a profession here. Now, who would be a good angler? Possibly Matt Parker. That does give you willpower. Willpower does a lot of good things. It's kind of a good catch-all stat. So let's see here. Do we actually have the material goods to fish? We don't. We do not have... We have the means to make iron hooks, but we don't actually have any iron hooks right now. So, sorry, Matt. Your, uh, your fishing days are not today. So let's wander back around here. If we can find any bandits that are easy to punch, obviously we can do that. But I think this is the time to go to town. Because one of the nice things about War Tales is there's a few things. We have money that we can use to pay wages. These are people that are probably actually going to be friendly with us. Um, but we are eventually, in two days' time, going to need to amass some more money to pay some more wages later. So let's just walk through these happy little fields. And in these happy little fields, we're going to find a happy little town. Progress discoveries are, give you a knowledge point, so that's fun. So we already have some stuff here. And what do you know? We have a forge, we have an inn, we have a town hall apothecary time's not passing here i don't know if we can exactly rest here either let's go to the town hall first see what it's all about here so here is a uh, lady mayoress uh, gontrand are you the mercenaries i'll have you know that we do not take kindly to refugees in these parts 
Why you ask? Because they have overrun our streets and are now taking to the roads. Edoran is sending our way anything with legs and a mouth that cannot wield a sword. You have your work cut out for you. There's no lack for honest folk in need of help to fend off the large refugee menace. I need to work on my um, J. Jonah Jameson voice. I actually had someone dressed in a uh, Sam Raimi style Spider-Man costume try to solicit uh, me and my family in a car or like we were driving in our car and the Spider-Man came up to our car window and uh, I I'm always suspicious of uh, people coming up to my car window anyway, especially Spider-Man. But anyway, we have some refugees here like Renart and Adderless, and I used to try to be nice to these people until they stole all my money <laughs> in a previous trial save. So we don't have any money right here right now, but these are the markets that we can go to a little bit later. Um, let's go ahead and go to the forging area. So right now we do have uh, Master... Uh, Master Hulan. I was going to get that right. Hulan. Wow, is that how we pronounce it? You can use my anvil for a few crowns. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking for a skilled blacksmith if you happen to know one. So we can't actually afford anything that you have right now. We're going to need to actually watch these raw materials pretty hard. There is a way that we can work around that, though. So blacksmith. I definitely think that um, Matt Parker should also be a blacksmith. Because right now, Miner increases Constitution, Blacksmith increases Strength. So those are those are all good things here. So he already uses a hammer, right? So what shall we craft? We don't have enough to craft this stuff. We could craft a Targe. We don't have enough to really craft much of anything right now. So that's too bad. But we may be able to get some stuff a little bit later as we do more quests. So that's another mini game that we'll have to deal with pretty soon. Um, and while we're here, who does not have a profession yet? You don't. So our tinker here with uh, critical hit capabilities, I wouldn't mind you being a tinker here. And we need to uh, enhance camping gear at the camp workshop. So we'll be doing that in just a little bit. So let's go out here and exit. And now um, that's pretty much the tour. We're broke. Should we stay broke? We have illegal salt that we can sell. That's that's part of the fun. We have shackles and stuff. So we know what we're going to do. Inform it's purple for some reason. Let's talk. Psst, you, yeah, you. Looking for work? I can give you tips and point you towards the best missions. The kind that pay much better than the measly rewards the mercenary guild have to offer. Of course, you have to meet the client and meddle in other people's affairs. But at the end of the day, it's the number of crowns in your purse that counts, right? So... He has all this information that we can buy for influence. Obviously, we have four influence right now because we wanted to get some iron to start the game and some illegal salt, which salt is um, good in cooking. Of course, I would want to make a cooking pot at some point. Here's Athram. Ah, say, it's not often you see new faces around here. Well, apart from the refugees, that is. And he has an apple pancake that looks like a, strangely like a blooming onion, and he sells brandy as well. We are not going to steal. Feel free to come back often. There's always folks looking for work around here, especially since all the fighting started across the border. And then here's Emissary Redak, the person that we're going to be seeing quite a bit. Might you be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. So we have a few potential job offers. I can hold up to three. I may just take two for now because we have two relatively easy ones. One's to the east. The Hardit Gang, maybe, uh, and we also have Hedrick Squad. They wish for this squad to be dead. I think I'll take the two easies, even though freeing the Pedra Mine is in the same direction southwest, and even though um, help request for the Desperate Refugees is the same place as this gang. I want to get, like, a fifth character in our team before we start doing some of this stuff. Plus, it's possible that we get another easy quest that we want to be in a position to accept, which is why I'm not filling up my markers all at once so we can go one way or another it's all it's all well and good here in the neighborhood um, we'll look at this in a second and also let's look at some companions that we cannot afford i'm at your service provided you pay me handsomely oh cure will with a giant hammer she she is after my heart here with a giant swinging ram hammer deals all unit damage to all units in an area um yeah that's that's definitely brute force but we once again cannot afford you and we won't be able to afford for a little bit 
Um, then we have Wise Cleric or Wisk Cleric. Here's another stabby. It's funny, after two of my last saves where I had no spear people, now it's all coming up spear people. The other thing that I really want is like an Axeman. Wilt is not an Axeman. Uh, but yeah, this is this is kind of where the game sort of starts you off. So we have a bunch of stuff over here. We have some knowledge. We have our compendium that's going to let us get a bunch of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and learn run. Run's just an important skill. We press shift to run. Sometimes you just got to run from things before other stuff happens here. We also have some things that we can build in the tinker shop like lock picks, fish hooks. Those are pretty good. Um, a cooking pot would actually be really important. It lets us get somebody to be a cook and reduces daily food consumption by two. Let's us get new recipes for things like salt. Um, camp chest would also be pretty important. And I'm, these are all things that we know already, by the way. Um, at the anvil, we'd have to learn some of these things. Like a tent. A tent is good for giving extra companions extra rest. Um, and this will let you descend into deep heights. Torches are good. Like I said, we do want some, we do need some fish hooks because fish are a great source of stuff and cooking fish with salt is fine. So I think one of our first goals here, since we have 18 freaking iron, is to get a cooking pot. I think that's a, that's a worthwhile goal. So we need to find ways to get wood. Obviously, um, if you played Battle Brothers, and I, I, I feel like my elevator pitch for like seven games I've played in the past years, if you've played Battle Brothers. But this game does lift from that almost directly, where you have your trade goods. Each little town or area is known for some of their stuff. Like this is woolen cloth and pottery. So we can buy low here and sell high somewhere else. But I think, okay, so there's the market. Did we go into the clinic? I don't know if we went into the clinic. We actually can't go into the clinic while it's paused. So here's our uh, alchemist crafting. We definitely cannot um, alchemist craft right now. So let's see. If we try to learn alchemy for you, that does give dexterity. But you'll lose all experience in the profession as a thief. We don't even have the stuff to do that yet so we're we don't want you tony to lose your experience as a thief this is why we try to get some more people so i think blacksmith miner tinkerer thief is an adequate start definitely all things that we can work on early but this this is here our medicine keeper uh, medicine obviously very important uh, you can find a lot of materials around town so that'll be fine let's go ahead and uh, exit and now we're going to have to go camping here in just a minute. But first, let's hit the map. We want to go west out of town towards this squad over here. Although the jail is over this way. And uh, bandits have been attacking caravans of travelers who have been going here. Maybe we do this first because we could potentially turn in somebody to jail really quickly. Um, the alternative is to do the squad, get some money, and then get another uh, companion. Uh, I mean, we can always turn in somebody to jail going that way. So we're going to go, we're going to depart here. And let's go ahead and head up here. And I'm really terrible at navigating the world map in this game. So I just want to make sure I'm not doing this wrong. Like we could actually walk down here in the slopes, walk through the woods. You can see that uh, we actually do need to camp. So we're going to camp in the woods out here. And here we go. We have a pony. We have a tinkerer's workshop. We need to put our tinkerer on that. It's very important. This is one of the ways that either you couldn't do it before. Are you our tinkerer? You're a thief. Of course you're a thief. We just we just did that whole bit. You're a miner. But if you're running short on some stuff, this is where having a tinkerer, even if you have nothing else to build here, Let's go ahead and confirm. So Rock 4 had our novice tinkerer. We can make some fish hooks. We have a lot of stuff for that. We can make some lock picks. I don't think I want to make one of those. Um, we don't have enough stuff for torch. Camp chest would be good. Tent would be good. But we need to get some more materials for the, some of this stuff. Uh, wood we're actually pretty close to. We don't want to go below 8 iron. Although that stuff should uh, refresh. Let's go ahead and make... 
two fish hooks. I almost made three fish hooks. What would have completely screwed me up here. So let's craft. Hooray, fish hook, 2x. That's 11 experience. First craft bonus, we get a discovery star. What does that do? Well, if we go back to our knowledge base here, that means that if we look in the workshop, we get um, craft one for knowledge to progress. I think that's probably best explained. I mean, obviously we have all of these things here that we're trying to build, but there is a um, paths thing here. This is what we want. Power and might, trade and wealth, mysteries and wisdom. We've already done pretty good on the mysteries and wisdom here. As we move up these paths, other stuff will unlock and things will happen. As you can see, I've kind of grazed on the early part of this game a little bit. One of my goals, quite frankly, with this series is to dive in, go a little bit deeper, take my lumps with things going bad, and just see how I can make things run a little bit better. But we got our two uh, lock picks. I think we're pretty good. Um, obviously, we need to eat something, so let's use the campfire here. We have zero food of 16. Bread is an incredibly useful meal here. A loaf of bread with a thick crust. No wages to pay. No danger in the rain. But the really cool thing about having your uh, person work the uh, tinkerer's bench is that you get two raw materials. This adds up a lot over the whole course of the game. So we have one negative effect. We know what that is. We've gained two valor points. We have three uh, companions assigned to the campfire and one sad companion. Um, but Rock Forehead, if we look at him, I don't know if morale is um, individual. Oh, we can we can capture you, but you're already you're already with us. So I don't necessarily know what that's all about. Let me just check and make sure I'm not missing something that just popped up on my phone. Oh my God. Okay. Nope. We're all good. So I think it's time to uh, whoop some bandit butt. I remember. One of the dumb things, because I do a lot of dumb things playing these games, but maybe one of the dumbest that I've done was sitting here on that screen for a really long time, not knowing how to exit camp. Like there's no exit camp button. And it turns out you just push C to leave. So who knew? Now we're moving a little bit closer here. I'm going to pause because we may hit some territory here. I'm going to show you what running is like. I don't know if we want to run through the woods. But it does let us move a little bit faster. We actually ran over some treasure in the woods. It's not actually wood. I don't know if some of these are actually collectible or not. But see, we have all these little things on the overworld. There's always something to discover. It's pretty neat. So we have another group over here. All these icons mean stuff. We're actually pretty close to our bounty, which is up here. And that windmill is another story event place. So we're going to... um visit that as well there's some wood there's a wealthy farm there's a not bad people just regular people let's go visit the wealthy farm real quick and on that wealthy farm we got all kinds of shit going on here we have thort thort says i'm terribly sorry i shouldn't have agreed to do this but we run out of food and we were starving and then we have telusa who's purple so that means that they have some significant information. Are you are you mercenaries? Oh, blessed the all-seeing eye. You are our last hope. I swear I'll find a way to pay. You must warn my husband's friends. They need to come and help him. Yes, and ask them to come. And if they could just speak in his favor, reason with the people who want to kill him for a handful of grain. So we could leave or we could get a bar of soap influence and 20 progression on quest here. My husband only told me his friends live north of the lake, not far from here. So please come back quickly and then we have village chief adi who's all the way over here saying do not take pity on the scoundrel he fled his home country to come and steal our crops the eldorian leech will be sprung up for his crime and soon we'll all sleep easy well not not everybody i mean think about a sheep do we i don't think they even have anything to steal this is like the worst rich house ever anyway so we're here and see, we have all these quests here. We have sentenced to death, warn the friends that are north of a lake. Not this lake. There's another lake. We can kind of see it in the map here. And uh, we can inspect this. What's in the bag? It's wheat. We're just going to exit. We're not going to steal right in front of the village chief. All right, so we get some little clucky chickens. I hope you can hear them. It's, it's kind of faint. We actually have a traveling merchant as well. 
Can we talk to you, please? All right, we don't have any money right now, but can we buy some wares? Will you buy some of our wares is another question. We don't really have too much to sell right now, though. But it's good to take note of what these people have. We could try to steal, but I'm not going to steal. Although that chicken looks a little raw and a little delicious. You know, you know I love my chicken rare. So there's, there's our bounty. Right up there. Hey, guys. What's shaking, bacon? Okay, so level two henchmen. Is it just a squad of two? So you're a corporal. Let's fight it out. And here we go. We have leader's protection. So we have Hilda Buzzard and Henchman. This is where I'd probably like to have... Um, first off, I'd love to have the archer over here. Um, we are going to put Matt Parker over here. Did I forget to put an R? Damn it. It's Matt Paker. We'll have to we'll have to find a way to adjust that later. I feel I feel terrible that I just noticed a typo, but it's okay. Paker, so if you die, it's not the same. All right, so henchman has a buff because his leader's still alive. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to have Matt kind of tank some shit here, and we're going to see if we can um, make this make this work. So let's uh, hammer down. Just like that, very good. And then in turn with space. Tony's over here, and we can shoot a little happy arrow here. And that's good. So that's a little painful. But now if we do this, and she may be able to do her own thing here, let's find out. So, you have Valor support every time this unit ends up next to an ally and not engaged in combat you gain plus one. So what we're going to try to do here is see if we can kind of stack this a little bit. So if we stab you right here, that's fine. If we move over here, I don't know. Can we still stab? Can we still stab? Yes. All right, so stabbing commencement. All right. And we could try to run as well. All right. And we get one Valor for that, so hooray. And we'll drop you up here, Akra. There we go. And you're just going to... You have Wrath. Deal six damage to the target if they have less than 50% health. That's really good. And then one more hit here as Matt Paker not having the best day all of a sudden. Your armor's broken. You should probably get that checked out. But it is round two. I think we're just going to try to get um, her buddy dealt with first. Now the problem is that if we look around here, Matt is literally our only person with the first aid kit. So... The way this game works is that if you lose all your health, you can use a first aid kit to heal somebody. It could be a little bit of a problem, though. So let's go ahead and do what we were talking about before. Let's um. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna move you. Let's move you over here. Let's see if we can stop the engagement real quick here. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to bounce you guys around a bit. So we can move up here. We can stab you over here. That seems fine. And then let's just wait. We have another action here. We could pound. And we can't use that if engaged in combat. So that's a little bit of a problem. So we may need to actually like wait to move you off. Okay, so your action's going to be later. I think my plan's going to be to have Akra stab Helric and then maybe have Matt try to get in a position where she wants to target somebody else. We'll see. Now, if I shoot from right here, I probably have a chance. Yeah, probably have a good chance of hitting my friends. We don't want to do that. So we're going to go like this for seven damage, which is not nearly as much as I'd like. Eleven's a little better. So one more hit. 
Suddenly we're almost dead. Now, if you try to run, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. But if we move you up here and put you right there and then stab right over here to knock her off, that stops the engagement, which is a plus. We get leader's protection here. And unfortunately, we got kind of a dilemma to make here. We could try to um, kill this person with one damage left. I think we just need to try to get Matt as far away from the engagement as possible. So if we drop you out here for a second and let you heal, 10% of their health seems all right. So this is where, like I said, people may die, but that is a risk I'm willing to take. So unfortunately, it's healing an ally. So it doesn't look like we can use that on ourselves. Okay. Who throws an axe? Seriously. Whoa. Okay, times two. New round is starting. Okay, well, clearly we're shooting you. We could also shoot shoot at you, but this is fine. You're dead. And that should be another Valor point. And we get Galvanization. Galvanization means that we're having a happy time and we get some extra turnage here. The one issue right now is that... Um, triggered if the ability would kill the unit. So we could have actually used Wrath. First, that's a little bit of a, of a mistake. All right, well, that's okay. Part of the fun here is making mistakes. Remember, this is this is the really early part of the game here. So, and this is just normal difficulty. So let's um, stabby stab. I suddenly see a problem in my strategy, which is um, trying to actually hold hold you in place. All right, let's just put you up front here. And then we have one more potential action. So stab you, then run over here and we get yet another Valor points. And we have one more action. We can't salt wrong button. Damage increased by 50%. That's very exciting. And we can heal you for a bit. Not a ton, but enough. And now we'll see if the AI is smart enough to run around and try to kill people. Not quite. So we have a lot of damaged armor. That's okay. All right. So key thing here is that she attacks in two turns. So let's go ahead and... Um, once we can get her armor down, that's going to be a really big deal. So let's try to do this right here. So seems, seems okay. So we have another point. And then there's nine more damage. Ouch. And we have our uh, archer coming up over here. You know what? Let's move you a little more. Let's arch you over here. And then let's try and see if we can dance a little bit. If we put you right here. We can just move you, we can just move you away. Is that a delicious enough target for the AI to take? I don't know. But we definitely want to have Rock Forehead to be the one engaged with the target by the time this is all said and done. So can we kill you in 39 turns? You have a stick of wood, damage increased by 50% of the target is still wearing armor. So we want to do this first. Slappy slap. All right, and we try to want to. Then we want to really try to run you off over here, which means we may actually be hiding behind Tony. Uh, who's the worst at this game? It's me. Okay.
All right, and then I think I think we leave you there. Because now what we're going to do is um, we have two options here. We could have you try to do Wrath. Nine damage if they're at less than 50% health. So we got to have uh, Rock Forehead do the thing first. So let's do more damage this way. Okay. Then we put you... Make kind of a human shield wall here. Okay, and then we have, last but not least, Okra, who... I think this has to be in melee, but let's go ahead and stab. So yeah, you're at less than 50% health, but that won't kill you. So let's go. Let's turn it. Let's turn it back here. Now, like I said, I have no idea if Heldrick's going to try to run and do some stuff here, but we do have leader increased stats and leader's protection damage taken reduced by 30. And show sure enough, Rock Forehead gets the gets the call all right so let's go ahead and start with them um, well we got we got a lot of stuff we can do here let's start by doing this and let's stab you this way can we get you closer and actually do a wrath attack there we go that's not scary at all all right who do we want to have the killing blow? We could do Tony, but I think Matt needs some revenge. So the revenge of Matt Paker. Surrounded, uh, surrounding an enemy engaged unit with two allies gets a bonus. Which is one of the downsides because with our Spear Bros so far, we're going to be pushing enemies around. But we're not always going to be getting this surround bonus. But there's our very forceful smack to the face. Welcome to War Tales. Alright, so everybody's a little damaged and a little injured. And um, it's going to be okay. We can repair all. We could heal all. We do have five medicine, so that's probably okay. Um, we have how many um, raw materials? Yeah, this is fine. And then heal for one. Should have checked to really see what that injury is, but we got experience. Tony gained a level. And critical hit bonus. That's actually, um, that's not the worst. I would have really loved to have get, gotten dexterity here. So we're going to grab it. And then um, Valorous Audacity. I think we got to do Valorous Victory. Anytime this unit kills an enemy, get plus one here. Because archers in this game, even though they've nerfed the crap out of them since release, they're still like natural born killers. So we've completed a mission. Hooray. How far are we away from town? Granted, there is wood and stuff like that around here, but you see it says we have 125 available. And I feel really dumb because what I should have done, and I didn't do it, was try to capture that other person that was near death. So didn't I just talk about that? But honestly, I got just a little bit scared with um, having like everything going to hell. So maybe when we go up here... Because I think we can try to work on this before turning this in. There isn't a time limit for getting these in, which is pretty nice. The only, the really time clock that you get here is figuring out how far we can go with this. So I think we're going to go ahead and call this a first video. We've gotten kind of started here. We've made a few mistakes along the way. But for now, our uh, group here is still, still riding. Matt Parker with the R has been renamed and now the other the other companions approve that'd be hilarious if one of them didn't but yeah that'll do it for this one this is asher like i said war tales uh, available on steam and early access i've been enjoying it a lot but i'm looking forward to giving it a sufficiently deep dive so feel free to tell me your thoughts in the comments let me know what you want to see more importantly let me know if you want to be the pony or any of the future characters that i'll be hiring our suspicion is low for now, but it's probably going to go up again real soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.
Take care.